Hey guys, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, we are gonna show you uh, basically how to flash the next bit Robin. Uh, next bit Robin is sold to the Lineage OS 16, which is Android 9. Uh, on original stock settings, it comes to uh, this is on Android Nougat, and uh, there is no system update anymore as the uh, the server for next bit has been closed. So ultimately. If you want the latest software running on this phone itself, uh, Lineage OS actually does have the uh, official version, which is uh, Lineage OS uh, 16, where we can actually download and flash it. But ultimately, unless you are using the phone uh, daily, for me, uh, if you are keeping the phone, it would be the best to flash it back to stock ROM and leave it that way. And if you are actually using it as a daily driver, you can actually use Lineage OS. I think it should be okay. Uh, normally, from what I experience is when you are flashing custom ROM, the only problems that you'll be facing if you let your device get depleted, uh, then you might have problem uh, waking the phone itself after that. Okay, without further ado, let's go through the process uh, to actually update your um, the flash lineage OS to your, to your device. So the first thing we need to do is to go to settings. Uh, make sure you have uh, developer options enabled. So ultimately, what we normally do here is to tap on this. Uh, nope, not this, sorry. On the build number, uh, where is the build number? So once you are a developer, you go to develop options and you will need to enable USB debugging. And on 7 itself, uh, you will need to allow OEM unlocking as well, as you can see here. Um, if you don't do that, you can't actually unlock the boot number. Then you have problems uh, doing the USB debugging. And once you have these two set up properly, you can just stop it. and. Uh, the next thing to do will be uh, plug in your device to your computer and let's just do this uh, yeah then you should have um, the ADB thing here the debugging is connected and stuff so um, if you run an ADB over at the uh, at the computer now ADB devices. Then you should see this this see this key here. So what you need to do is to uh, so accept it. So like press allow always and okay, right? Okay. Once you have this process done up, then we can move on to the uh, to the uh, phone itself uh, for the I mean for the computer itself for the rest of the setup. You can move your ADB and do a ADB devices. To ensure device is connected, ADB devices. So as you can see, device connected. Here you can do an ADB reboot, boot loader. So this will basically boot you to fa fast boot itself. So yeah, let's just move on to the phone for the uh, for the rest of the setup. Okay, so ultimately, when you go to the um, ADB reboot loader, you'll be put into this uh, into this menu. So what you need to do is to choose the one you're gonna go. We are going to fast boot now, so you just press uh, on the power button. That will put you to fast boot mode. So now, when you're in fast boot mode, yeah, actually, when you the the one the previous round, if you know, this is how the fast boot mode looks like. So. Once you're in this mode, then you can move on to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once you're in fast boot mode itself, uh, so you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. So as you can see, fast boot device connected. So if you haven't actually unlocked your phone yet, you can do a fast boot. OEM unlock. Just be, be reminded that when you do that, it will actually do a factory reset on your device where uh, all your data will be gone. So please make sure that you do a backup before you actually do this unlocking, right? So if you already backed up everything, then you can just do a fast boot OEM unlock. So like my case, my device already unlocked. If yours is haven't un uh, unlocked yet, then basically what you will do is that you will unlock your device and they will uh, do a factory reset to your device. So once you have this done, so the next thing, of course, you need to navigate to your uh, file where you actually put in all the TWRP and stuff. So for my case, it's the 
uh, like the sorry it's F CD next bit CD is an H and you go into here they will have all your files here TBRP so normally here what you do is to fast boot flash recovery P can do RP recovery right so you can do that and you can flash it so once you flash it you can do a fast boot boot TWRP recovery. So this will put your phone to TWRP recovery where you can actually do the uh, installation of Linux OS from there. So let's move on to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, so the next step for this one, you'll do a wipe and you do a format later. Yes. So this one will be formatting your data. So once you're done with that, go back. And once you're done formatting the data, then you go to advanced wipe. Then you do your system and cache. You can't actually do internal storage because the uh, all the installation files inside, so you just do a system and cache. Then swipe to wipe. Once you're done, you can go back. Then the next thing you need to do is to install the OS. Uh, then you go to up one level. You go to your SD card. You go to your. Hmm. Somehow, or rather, if you are like me, you can't actually find your. file you can actually do a side load side load of the file so let me just go back to the computer to show you how to side load it yeah notably I actually copied it in but somehow or other the file is not there maybe for our next bit itself we needed some some other options to do that so if that is the case you might want to swipe your internal storage as well so you just do an internal storage wipe so once you're done you have nothing back here so if you go install virtually there's nothing here Nothing clean. So we'll just do an ADB side load for this to happen. So for ADB side load itself, you need to go advanced step, do an ADB side load, and swipe to start side load, right? But you may make sure that you connect that to your computer. So let's connect it to the computer and move on to the computer for the next step. Okay, so when you actually do, after you have uh, start the side load, uh, side load, uh, object module in your phone itself when you go to your ADB devices on your computer you should be able to see a, uh, the ADB is connected by a side load so from here itself you can actually take a look at the uh, directory itself so you need to side load two files in one of them you can do an ADB side load image OS 16 they will basically push the uh, file into the Phone itself, so you need to wait for the process to complete. Okay, so once you have done the transfer for lineage, you need to do an ADB side load again. This time it's by OpenGF. Uh, you can just open GF uh, ADB side load. Open and this one. GF Pico. Okay, they have somehow closed the connection. So let's just uh, make sure that it's done correctly. So you can check again on the settings, ADB uh, devices, make sure the side load is there, so you can do an ADB side load, uh, open underscore GX, right? So this time they are going to do another side load itself, so let's wait for the side load to be completed.
Okay, once your both side load is done, um, logically your the OS should be installed already. So what you can do now, you can go to your phone and, and go to actually do a rebooting of your phone. And you can walk white cache and Dafi cache uh, on the way out. That you just need to wait for your phone to reboot and uh, we'll see how it goes. As you can see now, the phone is uh, rebooting. So we'll just need to wait for the reboot to complete. Okay, it's finished booted up. Uh, the first boot actually takes a bit of time. So at this time, if you are actually waiting for it to boot, then uh, just be patient. So after that, you can click on start. Then you can skip this because I don't have a SIM card now. Then actually skip this as well. Continue. Just as needed later on. Uh, send no more. Accept. Skip. Not now. Skip anyway. So I just want to bring you guys to, to check on this. How to remove. Okay, next. And start. So as you can see now, this is will be uh, Android 9 running for the uh, next bit problem. So let's check on the settings itself. So if you go to the settings, to about phone, as you can see now, uh, it's running on Android version 9, build number and stuff. So, yep, if you want the latest and greatest OS in your next bit, Robin, you can actually do this. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It's running Android 9. Um, You'll let me check whether they have the gesture based stuff as well. Let's go to system, advanced of the gesture, swipe up home button, turn on. Okay, you're done. So you still have this thing on, which is pretty cool. So yep, that's all we I have basically today for the uh, Lineage OS 16 running on the Exit Next Bit Robin. If you are still using this phone and you want a taste of Android 9, um, this ROM is a good place for you to start. It's not hard to do, and um, and so far I don't think it's slow. I think it's uh, it's not as quick as certain phones, but uh, it's still pretty decent, I should say. So ultimately, um, it depends on how you take a look at it. So that's all I have for today's guys. So if you actually like the video that I do, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel for any future uh, flashing videos and stuff that I have for different devices. Um, and that's uh, all I have for now. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.